All right, welcome to AP Podcast 4.7, and this is where we combine the joy of stoichiometry with precipitation reactions. So I've got a list of steps here that show you exactly the process you should go through it, and again, for, mo for the most part, we're going to be dealing with double replacement reactions. So you can see right there, we're going to list the, the reaction, write a balanced net ion equation, calculate moles, of course, uh, determine who's limiting, and then figure out our whatever they want at the end, grams for product. So let's look at an example and try one. Maybe. There we go. All right, so we've got this problem, and the first thing I've got to do is write out this reaction. Okay, so I'm going to write out the reaction. So I've got, uh, let's see, barium chloride, Cl3, plus iron 3 sulfate, Fe. 2SO4, 3, okay. And now again, it's a double replacement reaction, so we're going to make barium sulfate, BASO4, and iron 3 chloride would be FeCl3. And then, of course, we want to balance it, so 2, 3, and 3. All right, so now it's, it's balanced, okay. So then we, if you look at the steps over here, we write uh, a net ionic equation, so let's do that. The net ionic equation would be this. Uh, oh, actually, which one of these is going to make a precipitate? Well, hopefully you know the rules for chlorides, A, P, H, and that's not A, P, or H, so this is going to be our solid, barium sulfate. So I'm going to go barium 2 plus plus oops, SO4 2 minus yields B, A, SO4. Okay? And notice I didn't use the the coefficients because there's there's no need to, all right? There there really is no point in doing that. It's really um since we would get kind of a 3 to 3 to 3 ratio if we did it that kind of breaks down to a 1 to 1 to 1. All right. So here we go. So now the first thing I want to do, hopefully, well, let's go back to the steps. We want to find the moles, right? And then this this step of course is just always what we emphasize in chemistry find some moles once you find moles then you can do whatever you want after that so I'm gonna look at the moles I have and uh, I've got uh, 0 0.100 liters of barium chloride times right uh, and then one liter 0 0.1 mole that gives me 0 0.01 moles of barium chloride. Now look at these two numbers. See those two? They're both exactly the same as above. So we have 0 0.01 moles of barium chloride, and we also have 0 0.01 moles of uh, iron 2 sulfate. Okay? Um, so basically, we have to kind of think about this. Is either one going to run out first? Well, since it's a it's the same amount of moles, it's a one to one ratio. That means we're going to get zero point zero one moles of barium sulfate. So that's how many moles of barium sulfate we would generate. And again, if you wanted to get technical, we would go one mole over one mole, that kind of thing. And so then all I've got to do. is find the number of grams. And uh, let's see, one mole of that stuff, one mole of barium sulfate happens to weigh 233.43 grams. All right, so there you have it. And when you work that out, you get 2.33 grams. So that would be our answer right there. All right? So a little bit of stoichiometry uh, with a precipitate. Let's try another one. Be a little bit different. What volume of one mole or 0.1 molar sodium phosphate is needed to precipitate the lead? So again, the first thing I need to do is write out the reaction. And so I'm going to I've got Na3PO4 plus uh, Pb um, and O3, okay, that's a 2, 
and that's going to make some sodium nitrate and PB3 0 okay now hopefully you'll realize that this is my solid right okay because sodium nitrate is not going to make a precipitate. So then I'm going to just go ahead and write out my net ionic reaction. I'm going to take my phosphate. Oh, you know what? What am I forgetting? You know, you're probably screaming at the screen, hey, why don't you go ahead and balance it? So let's balance it. Two there, three there, uh, six there, and nothing there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and balance that out. So PO4, three minus, plus... PB two plus yields PB three. All right, and then I want to balance this thing, right? So I'm going to put a three there and a two there. Okay, so now we've got to figure out what what volume of uh, the sodium phosphate are we going to need uh, to precipitate this out. So I've got a volume here, and I've got a molarity. And hopefully from that, you realize, well, if i got a volume and molarity, I can find the number of moles. And, you know, the next step is always find some moles, right? So here we go. I'm going to find some moles. So I'm going to take my, I'm going to convert this to liters, 150 liters, times the, the molarity, which for one liter is 0 0.250 moles, right? And then that's going to give me a number of 0 0.0375 moles. And what is that? That's of my lead ions, right? Of PB. Okay. So now I've got that. But what I need to find is how much of this phosphate right here is going to react with my, my lead. So... I have moles of lead. What I want to do is a mole ratio between the lead ions right here and the phosphate ions right there. Okay. So my mole ratio is for every three moles of lead, I'm going to need or react with two moles. Oops. Oh, darn it. Two moles. Boy, this pen is just horrid. Two moles of uh, phosphate. All right, so I do that, and I get a, a value of. Um, actually, you know what? We can just keep going, because look at what they gave us. They gave us zero point one molar, right? And at that point, I have moles, right? So um, let's just go ahead and. I'm going to continue this on, and instead of an equal sign, we'll have a times. And then on the bottom is 0 0.1 mole, and on the top is 1 liter, right? I'm just taking this molarity, and I'm just flipping it so that my units cancel, because I have moles of phosphate up there. And when you work that out, you get 0 0.250 liters, all right? or 250 milliliters. Either one of those works. So there you have it. Uh, stoichiometry of precipitation reactions. Not too bad. Now let's move on to the next thing. Let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to stop here and we will... I'll make another short podcast of acid-base reactions.